good morning. So the lesson we are doing today is lesson four on money and it's page 23 in your um, textbook and it looks like this. Okay, just like I've got on the board. Okay, so we've got Ravi and Ravi wants to buy this jar of jam. This jar of jam, I don't know if you can see it, you can see it in your textbooks, is seven pound and 75p so we need to see if ravi has got the correct amount of money okay i've made ravi's money a lot bigger here so just like yesterday who can remember what we count first that's right we count the pounds first so what i do to make it easier for myself because i find that in your workbooks when it's not in color it's much trickier so i look really carefully and I put a circle around the pounds to count them first. Okay, so we know that these are all, these are all pence. We've got two pounds here and five pounds here. So I'm going to circle them. Oh. Okay, five pound add two pound is, well, what's five add two? That's right, it's seven. And I write it down so that I don't forget it. So, so far, we've got seven pounds. Right, so we've counted the pounds now, what do we need to count? That's why we need to count the pence, so we've got 20, a 20p, a 20p, and a 5p. Okay, so let's count on in our tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. That's right, this isn't in 10p, so we'll go 60, 65p. So let's go back to Ravi. The jam was £7.75p. Has he got enough money? He's got £7.65p. He hasn't, has he? Take a minute to pause and see if you can work out how much more money he would need. He's got £7.65p. The jar of jam was £7.75p. If you said that he would need 10 more P, you would be correct. Well done. Okay, right. Right, we've just done, we counted the pounds, we did five pound, add two pound, and then we counted the pence. Right, I've got another problem. Is this amount seven pound and 75p? I've made it bigger on here, so it's easier to see. So the first thing we need to count are the pounds. These are all pence, here are my pounds. I've got five pound, one pound, one pound. So five, six, seven, seven pound. And we've got a 20p, a 10p, a 10p, a 10p, a 10p, a 10p, a 2p, a 2p, and a 1p. You can't see it, but we have got a 1p. Okay? So let's count on in our tens. Stop it when we get to 2p. 2p is not a 10. Let's count in our ones when we get to 2p. It's 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, and that 1p, 75p. So it was, it was correct for that big shirt, £7.75p. With your bits of paper and um, like coins and notes that I gave you in your delivery, you can practice and you can cut them out and make lots of different amounts. That's great practice. It's just counting money. So if you've got any spare time, make lots of different amounts and just count money. Okay. Right, we've got another amount. Oh, this time we've got some bigger notes. So what's the first thing I need to do? I need to circle my pence. No, I need to circle my pounds. Yeah, remember, pounds can sometimes be coins. We've got a ten pound and a ten pound. What's ten and ten? That's right, twenty and one pound. Twenty. One pound. And now we need to count the pence. So we've got a twenty p, a twenty p, a one p, and a one p. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 21 pound and 42 P. Okay, 
here about yoga and in practice. You have got to write the amount in your exercise books that the um, coins and notes are showing. So we've got A, so remember circle the pounds, count the pounds first, then the pence. Two, oh, we've got some big notes here. Count all of the pounds and then the pence. When you've done that, your workbook pages today are page 25 and 26 and they look like this. Like I've said before, you need to be really careful because it isn't in colour. You've got to look carefully at what it says on the notes and the coins. Okay, so clearly here I can see there's a pound sign and 20. So I know that that one is 20 pounds. So you've just got to look really carefully. Remember circling your pounds and counting the pounds first. So on this one, really straightforward, we're just writing the totals in the boxes. And then the second one, you've got to match up the total. I wouldn't look at this and try and match it up. I would count how much is in this box first. When you've figured that out, then I'd match it to this side. Count this amount and then match it to whichever amount on this side and so on. Okay, I hope that makes sense. If you do need more practice just counting money before you go into your workbook, you've got them paper coins and the paper notes. Just get an adult, whoever's with you, to make the amounts and you can, and you can practice counting them. Okay, please send photos in your portfolio. Thank you.